everybody, it's Unapologetic Beauty Hillary, and I'm back with another vlog uh, video. As you guys can see, um, I look kind of weird right now because I have my wig on. It has not been customized and the lace obviously has not been cut, which is what this video is for. I will be showing you guys how I customize my frontal and make it look very natural. That, you know that natural glam look that we all love? We all love for our frontals to look like it's coming out of our scalp. So that is the look I'm trying to achieve today and I will be showing you guys how I do that. <laughs> so stay tuned, the rest of the video will probably be um, a voiceover or just you watching what I do and you speaking here and there. So yeah, enjoy the video. Mwah. Okay guys, so we're first going to start off by making sure that the hair is nice and wet because what this basically does is it helps um, make the plucking process easier because one, when the hair is wet, it, be it becomes more dense so it becomes like, it's more difficult to over pluck when the hair is wet because the hair is more dense and because you can see exactly where you're plucking and what's going on. So it really helps to wet it, that's a major like major key alert <laughs> that's a major plug <laughs> uh, yeah whatever <laughs> anyways so now I'm gonna start off by sectioning the front part um, what I like to do is just section out the front part so that like one if I make a mistake at least it's at the back you know because it, it takes a minute to like get into the flow of it so you might make mistakes and that's normal but you would rather for those mistakes to be like at the back you know and then in front you can be more like careful so yeah that's why I do that um, and then you're just gonna need a tweezer and you're just gonna put that to work we're just gonna tweeze the hair and pluck or oh, tweeze the hair I mean we're gonna pluck the hair you just wanna I like to work in okay I like to work in basically areas or sections within areas okay so in the sense that like as you guys can see in the video, I'm like hopping around different sections in one specific area. And then I move to another area, hop around different sections within one specific area. That's basically how I like to plug and then I like to re-wet it because you want to make sure that the hair stays wet because once again it makes the process way more easier and it prevents you from over plucking. Um, and then... Yeah, we're just gonna plug. We're just gonna plug. Says keep plucking. As you can see, like I feel like the best way for me to describe the motion of plucking, it's like you're hop. Ooh, child, what was that? <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's like you're hopping around. It's like you're hopping around on, like, if you watch what I'm doing, like I'm hopping from section to section to section to section to section. You know, I'm just hopping around. So make sure it's like a hopping motion, and that. That way you should not over plug in section because you're hopping around quickly enough that you will not overdo one section. So yeah, and guys dig in, don't be scared, plug. <laughs> okay guys, I just want to show you all the hair that was shedding. Do you see how much hair that was? That's basically the amount of hair that you should expect to come out when you're plucking. So don't be shy, don't be scared. That's part of the process. You're supposed to be shedding hair. So yeah, yeah. I just want you to keep this in mind when you're doing it. But yeah, so as you guys can see over here on the both sides of my hair, one side, this side is more like you can see it looks more natural now, you know, because it looks more spacey. Like, I try to make sure that the hairline is not straight, that I purposely have, like, a section that's less, more plucked, and a section that's less plucked, that type of thing, and rotated within, like, the area. I don't know if you get what I mean, guys, because, like, guys, come on. Okay, guys, let's be real here, okay? We don't naturally have hairlines, okay? Like, you don't naturally have a hairline. It's not just you, it's all of us, we're in this together, don't worry. 
we don't have hairlines like our hairline is naturally spacey like it looks weird when like well it doesn't look as natural when like you don't pluck it in front because then it looks it shows that okay something is off because you can just sense when someone's guys i don't know if y'all know what i'm saying but i'm just saying that like you want your wig to sort of imitate what your natural hairline looks like so if you naturally don't have a dense hairline then it's gonna show somehow it's not gonna look right so you'll see that mm -mm, this is not real so if you want it to look more natural and more like is it her hair isn't it her hair okay guys so if you would like to see how i cut out the lace to my baby hairs and install the wig you can head over to the next video where i will be showing you how i do the whole process so yeah um thank you for watching please subscribe share comment and yeah i'll see you on the next one Mwah.